we're gonna have more of a chill style video today because I am super excited to tell you guys that I started knitting and I literally only know the basics. I'm not good yet at all, but um, I wanted to run through some of my like 2024 goals for knitting and uh, where I'm hoping to be at by the end of the year. It might be might be longer than that. I don't know. We'll see. But before I show you some of the really fun patterns that I found, I want to show you my current project. I'm so proud of it. Um, but it's still, I have a long ways to go. I'm making a scarf for me. So I don't know, maybe I'm halfway there. Um, it is curling. So I'm not sure what I've done wrong here to make it curl. I'm hoping if I block it at the end, it will be fine. I'm really, really hoping for that, but but I'm really excited. So this is my third scarf so far, but this is my first one where I'm doing um, the knit pearl, knit pearl to get these little V stitches that I absolutely love so much. I've made two other scarves before this one, but I only used the knit stitch. So uh they are i'll try to put a picture over here of my two other projects um i've given them away as gifts because they were not for me um not really my color vibe to be honest but this one is for me and i'm very excited if you know how to make your project stop curling please let me know um i remember i used to have this problem with crochet when i first started too so it's very funny to be going through it again in a different way. Um, I'm thinking maybe I used a needle that was too small. Maybe that's my problem. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully when I block this, um, it'll fix itself or else I'll be very sad. But <laughs> I also just want to throw out before we get started with my 2024 knitting goals. Uh, if you know any really cool knitters that you think I would like to follow, um, please drop them in the comments. Uh, I've been trying really hard to find sort of like more goth vibe, spooky knitters, and I found a few really good ones, um, but I feel like I've barely scratched the surface of the knitting world. So I would love some more experienced knitters uh, to drop their favorite uh, knit people in the comments. Even if it's just somebody who really helped you learn to knit, um, maybe they have content that's really good for beginner knitters, I would love to know who your favorites are because I need all the help I can get. And I have been watching videos like crazy on how to do certain things with knitting and all that kind of stuff. So I would love to see if there's anybody good out there that I haven't found yet. So anyways, let's get started with my 2024 knitting goals. I'm gonna show you some really cool knitting patterns that I found that are my personal knitting goals to get at least, I'm really hoping to get at least like a couple of these made this year. Some of these are gonna be a lot farther off than other ones, I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't even know how to color change yet. So uh, a lot of these are like my dream projects that hopefully I'll be able to make sometime soon. Um, I need to learn how to color change first though, so that's what I'm going to be working on this week. As always, I will make sure to leave all of the links below, so that way if you're interested in purchasing from any designer that I mention, you can go ahead and find their shop easily. Anyways, let's get started with one of my absolute favorites from this list that I've compiled. Um, it is Ouija Board Mittens. I'm literally obsessed with these. I'm hoping I can make these by probably next winter is my hope or maybe like next fall so I can wear it for the entire season. The next pattern that I want to mention is actually two patterns and it is called the Ghost with the Most Hat and Socks by Crow and Crescent Yarn and I love stripes, anything stripes, I'm immediately attracted to for some reason. And I saw these and I just, I, I seriously need them so badly. These next ones I want to make so badly, but they are like 
probably so complicated for where I'm at right now, but it is these really cute socks with like bats and black cats on them. And I just love the way these look. I think it's so cute. I think if I made these, I would do shades of gray instead of orange. And I think that would definitely be more my vibe. And I'm just literally obsessing over these socks. This next one is from Bad Girl Wolf Studios and I'm obsessed with this sweater. I need to make this. It is so freaking cool. I always admire the way these knit sweaters come out. I just, it just looks so good. And I really, really want to be able to be good enough at knitting to make one someday. So that's on my goal list. Here is another sweater of my dreams. It is from River Road Knits and it is definitely way too complicated for any time soon. It really reminded me of like gothic architecture, like gothic windows. And I just, I don't know, I love the vibes here. The next one that I saw that I absolutely love is this bat cowl. And I really love the way that they styled this over their jackets. I think it's really a cool vibe. The next one that I saw that I absolutely love and I hope I can make this year is this little uh, like Halloween scarf. And I just love how there's little ghosts and tombstones and I just think it looks really cool and it would kind of fit my vibe perfectly. <laughs> the next one that I found is this chubby bat pattern and I just think it's so cute. I would love to have one of these on my shelf back there. I also found this really cool like stitched up bunny and I love the vibes here. Um, it's definitely really creepy, very cute at the same time. And I don't know if I'm just not looking in the right places, but um, I haven't found a ton of sort of spooky um, amigurumi knitting pieces yet. And I just thought this was really cool and interesting. This next one is on my like, I must knit this once I learn how to color change and do socks, but it is some bat socks. I'm obsessed with these. I feel like if I had these, I would literally wear them all the time. Um, I would probably make them in multiple colors too. So I'm really excited to hopefully get to this point this year. Speaking of bats, I also found a really cool bat cowl from Vanessa Ewing Knits. I have to make this this year so that way I can wear it for next, you know, fall, winter season. I love this. I would wear this literally constantly if I had it. I also found these incredible knit shawls from Our Widow on Etsy and I'm obsessed with these shawls. I want to make them so badly. I love the way that she has styled them. I think they just look absolutely gorgeous. From Flutter Makes Designs, there's a really cool bat scarf, which I obviously have to make because anything with bats on it, I need to make. <laughs> Again, with the bats, I found a bat shawl that I am seriously so in love with and I want to make this so badly. Okay, this is the last bat pattern, I promise you, but I'm obsessed with the sweater. I have to make this sometime this year. I love the way it looks like the bats are like coming out of the darkness of the bottom half of the sweater. I think it's so cool, such a cool idea. I have to make this. This one is another one that like, I really, really want to make. It is called the Spinster Cardigan and it has little spider webs on it and I just think it's so cool. I found this stripy hat from Jen Dollface Knits and I really, really want to make it. I think this might be one of my first ones that I'll attempt because it does seem a little bit more simple. So maybe this one will be a good way to try color changing for me. And that is the last one that I have on my little list just for today. Um, those are my like top, top knitting patterns that I have found so far that I really, really want to make. Um, if you, I'm literally brand new to knitting. So please, if you know anybody that you think I might like, drop their name down below. I would love to check out some new shops. If you saw any patterns that you really love, I'm going to make sure to leave all of the links down below so that way you can go to these shops and check out the pattern for yourself super easily. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things because it helps my channel out so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.